Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Tom Harris. And welcome back. We did see a few clouds that rolled across the area today, but for the most part, abundant sunshine and rather mild temperatures. 61 degrees right now in the Rockport area at the Texas Maritime Museum. Our weather bug camera brought to you by Ron Hoover RV out at the airport. We're looking at 64 degrees, still a little bit breezy with the winds out of the north northwest, about nine to 10 miles per hour. Relative humidity It's definitely very dry out there. Our high temperature today, only 60 67 degrees. Normally we should be right around 82 degrees, so about 15 degrees below normal. And it was definitely a chilly start. Dropped down to 44 degrees this morning. Going to be even colder tomorrow morning. 63 is the current temperature in Rockport, 65 in both Alice and George West. Now the winds have been blowing out of the north a little bit breezy, but they're starting to taper off. And as those winds die down, that's going to allow for more radiational cooling. So it's going to be a bit colder tomorrow with temperatures for us here in the city in the upper 30s. Our inland areas are likely to drop down into the mid 30s. Now the winds are going to start to shift out to the southeast tomorrow afternoon and that will bring us a little bit more humidity and warmer temperatures. Also will bring us a better beach and boating forecast. It was a little uh, breezy out there today. Tomorrow winds shifting to the north northeast at 5 to 10 knots. That means our bays going to be mostly smooth and our Gulf seas will be dropping down to about two to three feet. The cold air also cooling down the water temperature over in Port A. It's at 68 degrees. Now you can see mostly clear skies across much of our area tonight. Here's that front that rolled through yesterday. High pressure is giving us the very cool conditions. This will shift shift to the east and then we'll see the warmer air coming from the south. We're also going to be watching the disturbance coming in from the west and this will help enhance the chance of showers in our forecast as we move into the Halloween uh, holiday on Tuesday. But tomorrow look for abundant sunshine, maybe a few passing clouds on Monday. Then on Tuesday that's when we're going to see a pretty good chance of some wet weather and that's going to continue also through Wednesday. Quiet across much of the west. Here is that big cold front producing the showers from Atlanta all the way up to upstate New York. But we do want to update the tropics. We have a new tropical storm and it's centered basically right on top of the Havana area. This is tropical storm. Felipe and it's going to be moving towards South uh, Florida into the Keys, Miami. That's going to be tomorrow morning. It's going to mainly be offshore as a result of that cold front, but it could uh, continue to enhance things with that storm on Monday up along the Northeast. That coldest air still centered across parts of the upper Ohio Valley pushing east, but we're still going to see the influence of that tonight with an overnight low right around 38 degrees. A little bit warmer as we head into Sunday. Got any outdoor plans tomorrow? Well, it looks like that should be very pleasant as we move throughout uh, the week ahead. Halloween, unfortunately, we are looking for some scattered showers. Those likely to continue on Wednesday, then dry and warmer for the latter half of the work week. So if you're taking the kids out to any outdoor events on Tuesday, just be prepared. You might see a few showers. Hopefully most of them will be in the morning. Maybe some costumes with raincoats. Yeah, might be, like that. might be the case, yes. Okay, good. Thanks so much, Tom. Uh -huh.